the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. You're saying you're right because even when we sit there and I raise our children, you know what? I, you know it's interesting. We, I only, I'm not saying you, but when I was raising my children, and especially like on even on Christmas Day, we used to sit there and read the scriptures. It, it, we weren't putting. At least I wasn't putting the spiritual component into it. Yeah. It just became like you said a Christmas story. Yeah. I just don't just think about that. And as we close up, I'm saying is that's why I encourage not only when we're talking about continuing in the word, what about when we try to deal with our I, I did I did my Bible study uh Sunday, and I'm gonna go over this scripture with my wife, is shouldn't couples also continue fellowshipping, going over words together? Just to just to because they're one body, right? Mm -hmm. And then maybe, you know, the difference between your older children and now the fact you have a younger child. Should we also try to, on a setting, one-on-one -on -one or, or, or a family setting, to, to reveal scriptures to them? With understanding? Well, I think you, you have to be careful in that because the Bible talks about milk and meat. Yeah, give milk. Okay, I agree. But I don't think we'll give I don't think we'll give so what what do you think is milk? I think milk is just getting them to understand who they are. Okay inside and outside of Christ. Right. You know, you right. get them to understand that. You get them to understand just that. Okay, you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. Okay. And then believe that God raised him from the dead is, is a very important part. And that is the milk. Mm -hmm. Because without that, nothing got, else no makes foundation. any sense. It, right. It's just, it has to build on that. That's it, the chief cornerstone to this building block is right. that right there and so once they get that that's that's milk then they need to know who they are mm -hmm. in christ that you are a new are creation exactly. and old things passed away right. and that now we you are the righteousness of god yes. and the righteous acts of god is who we have to grow you up into be and yes. the way you have to do that is to start getting into these scriptures yeah. and, and getting some understanding of what's going on. Yeah. And then you do that. Then you go into the meat. And that is to be able to speak these things as, as though they were. Yeah. I mean, as you know, as though they are. Yeah. And then standing on that faith and then receiving these, these revelations that that meat comes not from us, that comes from the Holy Spirit. From the Holy Spirit, yeah. The Holy Spirit starts revealing meat to you yes. and then sets the table for you, you know, and 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 does it all. He's he does exactly what Christ did. He prepares the table before you, even in the face of your enemy. I mean, glory to God. <laughs> yeah, it does. Did you, you know, yeah. he leads you beside still what. Yes, sir. I mean, that that, that just the, the whole thing becomes a reality. Yes, and I and I think the the key to what I'm I guess I'm going to encourage. I told I told a pastor the other day to say, uh, please encourage your your congregation to review what was discussed in church with your family. Just a just a review. You know what I mean? I, this time when the couples go home, right? The family goes home. We was, you know how we comment about people put the Bible in the back of the window? Uh, <laughs> and that's the last time. They, I they can say, tell you this. What? <laughs> what? 
brother, these services are so long, they don't have nothing to do with the Bible when they get home. <laughs> they just want to eat and decompress. Yeah. I, 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 I don't think, I agree with you on that. I, what I'm saying is, I don't think it's five, six, I, I don't, I don't eight think it's hours. Sunday. I don't think it should be that Sunday or that Wednesday <laughs> night service. What I'm saying is that somewhere along the line in the uh, in the course of the week, they should do a review. Oh yeah, I mean it it, it, it. it should be applicable yeah. to their life. Exactly. It, exactly. it should it should be applicable to their life. I, I remember we would when we were meeting uh -huh. uh, before we left that room. Mm -hmm. You know, we would, about, yeah. we would say, okay, now how are we going to take mm -hmm. what was discussed, what was revealed yes. in this room yes. out these doors yes. and apply them in our lives? Yes. And that is what needs to be said. Yeah. That is the focus before they walk out. And I, and I don't believe you... <laughs> You can sit in church for four, five, six hours. And not have something to share. And, 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 and not walk out with something yes. that you can apply to your life. I mean, it's got to be something. There's got to be some form of revelation. Yeah. Not Maybe not a revelation that you may get because you're not at that level, but a revelation that the man of God received. Yeah. that you can re apply to your life and it bring forth fruit. Yeah. So that is 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 what we're after. You yeah. know, I you know I'm <laughs> brought to mind. I I I ministered or I I taught a a, a, a Bible study. Okay. Uh I think it was a, a Wednesday night there. I can't remember what it. But anyway, <laughs> and so in the message, I mean, it really wasn't even a part of the message that I had. <laughs> I'm serious. But the main thing that the spirit kept dealing on me was, you know, we come to these services. And we've gotten to the point where we'll take notes. Uh -huh. And, you know, we'll, we'll have our Bibles and we'll read the scriptures and we'll, we'll confirm that what's being said is, is according to the word. Yeah, I says, and we'll have these books. And I said, I can tell you, I can probably find a minimum of 20 <laughs> notebooks that after I wrote in them, that page was never opened again. <laughs> there was nothing ever added to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, no, no. And, it, and, and it's just what... information that's that's gleaned, yeah, and put into the to the storehouse, but never used. Never used. And it was in I know at least when I was in uh, World Changes, that's what he was encouraging people to do. He said, I want you to take the notes so you go home and review them. <laughs> that's exactly what he told them to do. He told, yeah. The emphasis is it that lines up with that scripture we just read about continuing. Yeah. If you and continue. See, it, the other thing is, you know, it helps you develop a, a, a hunger for the word, but not only yeah. that, it helps you filter yes. what was said yes. because now you can be removed from that atmosphere, which is one that's normally of, of praise and worship and, and cheer. Yes. You know, I've, I've seen pastors just misquote scriptures and everybody from the leadership on to the back pew stand up, amen, you yeah, know, yeah, clapping, yeah, you yeah. preaching now, and, and on and on and on, yeah. and it ain't got nothing to do with the scripture. <laughs> uh -uh. The scripture was misquoted, misused, <laughs> taken out of content, Yeah, the yeah. whole nine, Yeah, but yet the whole church is up, you know, in dance, praising because behind I like something. <laughs> so yeah. you take that home, and you read over it and you filter it yes by, yeah. by the scriptures and you don't read just what the scriptures that was read you read before uh -huh. and you read after to make sure it was the title was in content with that right. scripture if it's exactly. not then you take what you got for that scripture 
Uh -huh. And you find out what that scripture is truly saying. Exactly. That is studying the word. Yes, sir. Because what you get mm -hmm. a lot, and I'll say this, a lot of times when I visit a church, what I got had nothing to do no. with the message that was being taught. Right. Because a lot of times, and, 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 and I don't believe this was a good thing. I believe this is just a default uh, of what I kind of fell to that mm. I'm, I'm dealing with is when once a scripture is taken out of content, I'm stuck oh, you back at there. that scripture. Yeah. And I'm getting a whole nother mess. This dude's up here talking. I don't even hear them anymore. <laughs> I'm in the Bible, you know, researching right. what I just read and 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 not even getting what is being taught. Mm -hmm. And and I don't think that's right. I think I should be able to take the notes and then go back and try and get more of yeah. what this man is trying to say because it could have just been a uh a, 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 a misunderstanding yeah. or an oversight yeah. or something like that. But mm -hmm. I would just completely <laughs> completely tune out. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm in my own world. Yeah. You know, but like I said, it's something that I, I, I had to deal with and I'm still dealing with when I'm listening to people giving messages that, yeah. that are just preaching, yeah. you know, which is why I prayed for uh, uh, what we have here mm -hmm. is a Bible study that we go over the word and we're able to discuss that yeah. Yeah. And, and, and to go back and forth. And yeah. to get a better understanding of what is being done. If there's mm -hmm. no back and forth, then are you really, <laughs> really <laughs> equipping the saints to do the work of the men? Because exactly. I'm pretty sure that these messages will be a whole lot shorter if they allowed for feedback. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because yeah. you you'd go you you'd probably just get over a couple of scriptures. Oh, you and then with it. that with yeah. that size of a yeah. church, they probably wouldn't want mega churches no more. <laughs> you couldn't. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's, you have to milk. You couldn't milk. We couldn't go on all these type of scriptures. No. Uh, in a church setting, you wouldn't have time. You wouldn't be able no. to get all of them. No. no, you know, uh, you'd be right back to 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 uh to when. When um um good Lord, Satan, you get on out of here. <laughs> Just trying to steal this word that's in my mind. <laughs> Immediately. Immediately. Man, yeah. that was so quick. Um <laughs> help me, Holy Spirit. Um anyway, when when you hear something, mm -hmm. It's just so important to get the fullness thereof. And yeah. so a lot of times it does take a conversation. Yeah, back and, and, I think, and I think that's why when they talked about Fred Price, when they said, why do you keep saying the same thing? He's saying is, well, I would keep doing it until you get it. When, yeah. you, when you get it, then I'm going to move on to the next level. And, and, and that's something. That's yeah. something I, I've heard. I think it might have been Fred Price that I heard that from when he says, you, you guys be wanting to hear all these new things and stuff, and you ain't got what I said before. <laughs> exactly. You know, you're not, right. In other words, it's not becoming part of you. Yeah. Now, and what we want to encourage people is the word become part of you. So like he said, Jesus said in that scripture, if you continue in my word, then you're my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Mm -hmm. And we want to get to the point where believers focus on knowing the truth. And I think some cases, but as when people just like you was talking about with the politics today, where in Russia, for example, right now, where we only want the media that we control to put out the narrative. Because if they knew the truth, then the truth will make them react spawn differently yeah. to what their country is doing. To make you know? them free of the of the deceit and the lie. And and, and the, the fear he must have is 
when they find out that what we said we were not doing, that we did do it, what would they think based on that? Well, I, I think they would just move on like they always do, even mm -hmm. even in 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 this country. You know, it, it's 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 ridiculous how, how they just make up something just to change the narrative. Yeah, I mean, do. just and then they'll not only will they make up something, they will do stuff that's just right out outrageous. Mm to change the narrative off of the truth. Because okay. the truth is being exposed, they'll come out and just say something that is just so, so un, ungodly, so un-American, and allow, and, and would rather that be, you know, dealt with than the actual truth be exposed. Yeah, yeah. Like, where's the birth certificate? Yeah, you know, we're gonna we're gonna milk that. We're gonna ride it. People are gonna stay with it. And then when the truth is exposed, we're gonna move to sudden. In other words, we're gonna we're gonna deflect the fact that the truth came out. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go down to something else is ridiculous because you was gullible on that. And that's what I see today, right? A lot of cases that being gullible on one thing makes it easier for you to be gullible on something else. And then close out with this, as the guy said, like I said before, the man said, I only want the truth that I want to hear. Yeah. In the lines of what I want to hear, that's what I want because to hear. Because it, it, it will expose their belief mm. to righteousness. Yeah. So why, why, mm. why be correct when, mm. when you can just continue down the path that, that you want to continue down? You know, and then to have people say that, you know, um, I'm not an elitist. I'm not a racist. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm not a whoremonger. I'm not I'm not you know uh, the far right. I'm not the far left. I'll never do this. I'll never say that. But yet, they will cover it up, even when you there's proof. That they are. There's mm -hmm. there's undeniable truth. Yeah. yeah. And it won't make them free of their lie because they're they rather people believe their lie yeah. than what is being shown and exposed in the light. The bringing stuff to the light means nothing anymore. They they figure if if and, and I'm not just talking about our government. I'm talking about it, it, obviously this this world, this world system. Right. It's it's gotten to the point to where history doesn't even matter anymore. Oh, don't forget that Florida even said history anything to make them feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm talking about it, it, that that that's not even the issue anymore that's just the cover hmm. that's the cover of what they're doing because they're not trying to cover up history they're trying to cover up yesterday that knows yeah and so in order to cover up yesterday they make you worry about the past hmm. history so you get caught up on history and they're going to rewrite yesterday, which is, you know, can you call that history? Yesterday is yesterday history? Yesterday, well, history is, is there's recorded history. Yes. Right? But yeah. Yesterday is history. Yeah. But yeah. I'm talking about, so they start off with, way back to 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 atrocities that they know everybody knows about and they want to rewrite that so mm. they get everybody up in arms about that mm. but the current history which means yesterday maybe a week from from today in the past they're rewriting that now 
Wow. Wow. You know what? So, and, go ahead. So they, they get you get you spun up and confused and opposing one another about something that's done way back here. Yeah. That doesn't apply to the people today, other yeah. than them denying it and not correcting it. Exactly. And in order for them to correct it, then that means the future has to change. It has to but change. But if they get you caught up into the history and mm -hmm. complaining and trying to make it is what it is, then this current history that they are just abusing mm. and, and the things that are being done that are just, that are as equal yes. in atrocities as they were way back then, they can rewrite this now mm -hmm. so that it's not exposed, you know, down the road. Right. And I think a lot of people actually, uh, they, but you know, all these different media, and I think that's why they, that, that, that one guy I was talking to, it only has the media that he wants to hear, the only truth that's going to get the truth he wants to hear, is because history is coming out. Right? But it's not the truth. I'm talking about the history. No, I agree with what you're saying. I'm talking about what's been taught in school and what has been left out is being pumped out in different forms now. Well, you know? this, this, is, this is the bottom line fact. We have never been taught the history of this, this nation. Just keep the facts, yeah. yeah. I mean, and this, this, this is be honest. Yeah. We've been taught lies all along. It's 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 a form of uh, conforming and to uh, keeping you know keeping this nation in wraps, mm -hmm. and, and and then we talk about the bad of everywhere else, and we only pick out the good, good. of what's done here. Yeah, and we teach that, but yeah. if we're honest we would show that we are no different than these other countries. Right. And that uh, democracy in and of itself is just as bad as a dictatorship. Where, where, yeah. In the bottom, when you get down to the bottom line roots of it, uh -huh. they are both all about control uh -huh. and, 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 uh, Manipulation. Power. power, money, yeah. and power. Yeah, they, they both are the same. Now yeah. it's designed to be just. It's designed to be for everyone, but there's an exclusion. So yes, you can't right. say that it's designed to be. It, but in their blindness and in trying to include everyone. And, they, and but they did not exclude us right. completely. Right. So right. in their blindness in that, that was their fault for losing the authority and power that they had on people of color. Mm -hmm. And so now they're trying to regain that. Yeah. And, it, and some of them through bigotry and everything else, right? Everything. You know, yeah. I mean, we, we can go right back to Ahmaud Arbery. Mm -hmm. You know, but I mean, and and I and I and I say a lot about the US because we're exposed to a lot about the US. Mm 